Hey gang, Dallas here. Last time we got dirty with some weathering effects. Today, we're gonna use a couple of techniques we've covered in the past to paint some great looking bone and hair. So, let's get started. To start with our bone, we're gonna use some jack bone for our base coat. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this with the tip of my brush. I'm just gonna paint this guy right up. And just give it a nice solid base coat all over the head, bone, skull, hair, and all. And even though this is jack bone on the hair, it'll be different at the end. We're gonna use some different colors. I'm just using this as a nice, nice easy base coat. One color, get it all in there. Spin around back of the head, under the side of the hair. Just a base coat with your jack bone on the bonehead man. And make sure there's nothing pulling up in the eyes. Sometimes you get those little bubbles. Okay, before moving on to the next step, we're gonna go ahead and let that base coat dry. All right, now that we're all dry, we're gonna go ahead and use a little Crixbane highlight. And we're gonna make a wash for the bone color. I'm just gonna grab a couple dollops of my Crixbane highlight with my old frayed brush here. And we'll add a drop or two of mixing medium to increase our translucency of this paint. And some water. I'm just gonna water that down to make a nice wash consistency. And this will be the first shade to our bone. This will kind of give the bone some color to work with. Seems pretty good to me. All right, I'm just gonna take my brush and just the tip and wash over the bone here. Just Crixbane highlight, using it as a shadow. This just adds a little bit of green to the bone. I'll make it more visually interesting. This is a pretty subtle color, but it just gives a foundation for us to work off of. Make sure you get the eye sockets, but if it pulls up, just clean your brush, dry it off, dap it out. While that is drying, I'm going to take some bashing gray. And I'm going to paint the recesses in the hair. Just to define all these little strands. Just use the tip of the brush. Take your time, don't rush. Just let the tip of the brush do the work. And don't worry about it if you mess up. You can go back and reclaim things. And if you want, you can kind of define the edge of that hair. A couple little lines. Just draw a line around where the hairline is. Now that the wash on our skull should be dry, we can move on to the next shadow. For that, we'll be using a mix of Guncore Brown and a touch Thornwood Green. Use my grabber brush and pull these out. Just make a nice 
brown color to contrast against that Crix wash. And I'm just going to blend this into the recesses. Tip of my applicator brush, apply it in the shadow area, give it a little blend. And all the little teeth. I'll paint right over them. I can highlight those again later and reclaim them. And this cheekbone, just give that a little blend. There we go. Continue darkening that eye socket. Unless you want to make it glowy, you can make it glowy later. Reinforce that brow ridge a little bit more. I like making him look like he's angry. Let's soften that edge. All right, and back to the hair. We're going to use a little troll blood highlight and start accentuating the upper parts of the hair. I'm just going to do a layer, tip of my brush. Just paint the upper surfaces of the hair, defining the strands. Now we can move on to the final shadow of our skull. For that, we'll be taking Great Coat Gray and a bit of Battlefield Brown and mixing that together. I want a nice desaturated brown. We're just going to line this into the deepest shadows between the teeth and in the sockets. Use the tip of the brush and just define all your deepest areas, all the dark shadows. With that complete, we can begin our highlighting. Let's start on the hair. Use some Minoth White Highlight and a tip of our detail brush and just paint in some very fine highlight lines. Just picking the upper surfaces of the hair. Just pick those out. Take your time. When you're doing this kind of stuff, it helps to control your breathing and breathe out as you paint the line. Calms your arm and steadies you. Twist your brush to get a nice fine tip. Breathe out. Paint the line. Just take your time. And sometimes on this color I go over twice. Just to get good coverage. A couple thin coats is better than one big old heavy coat. All right, let's highlight the skull. For that, we're going to mix Jackbone and our Minoth White Highlight. Use my big grabber brush here. Grab a drop of each. We're just going to highlight all the bone. So my applicator brush and my blend brush at the ready. And I'll start here on this brow. And just soften that edge and the cheek. 
Just use the tip, soften that edge. And then bridge of the nose. A bit on the forehead there. Don't forget this brow. Get a nice fine tip, paint each of those teeth. Just by touching the tip of the brush. I like to move my brush at the model, kind of practice the motion and how far I'm going to paint down. And then come into the model and just paint the tooth, just like so. Kind of get your hand moving, kind of get your hand used to moving a certain direction or a certain amount of distance. I'm going to go ahead and add some Marl White to the top of the hair for one final highlight. Just go with the tip of my brush and make that hair white just at the top. When painting things like white doesn't take much. Just a hint of white will make it look white. All right, let's clean up the areas around it with some Thamar Black. See how it looks. All right, now that I've cleaned up and blacked out around the skull, you can see the contrast on the bone in the hair. Looks pretty good. I'll be ready to move on to the next step so we can blast some fools on the table. Our Pistol Wraith looks spooky, and when he's done, he'll draw a lot of attention on the table. Next time, we're going to go over how to get a lot of armor painted really quick. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. Hey gang, Dallas is here. Last time we got dirty. Whoa, yeah. With weather effects. Do you like my natural instinct was, yeah. <laughs>